Jessica. Yeah. You can put the baby picture down now. Okay. So. <laughs> that will do then. Not worrying about sex. What's going on this week? Sex. And how many have you done so far? Three. What subjects have you done? English. Okay. And how are you feeling? Good. Care to elaborate? Um. <coughs> so what was the first exam? Um. We done spelling, grammar, grammar and punctuation. So what happened? So you turned um, up in school. What time did you turn up in school? At I turned up at school at eight o'clock, and then we had um, breakfast club, but only for the year sixes. And then at nine o'clock we went into class, and then when. The gates got locked, we got to go and fill for 15 minutes. And um, what was the first test you did? Spelling, grammar. Spelling, punctuation. How did that go? How was it? Um, it was good. We had 48, four, not 48, 45 minutes to do it. Yeah. Um, there was 50 questions. Um, and then once we finished, if the time wasn't up, we had to check through it to make sure we got everything right. So just double check. Yeah. And how did you think it went? How did you feel? Good. Except for one question, I didn't answer it. Alright, well, don't divulge any of the questions, but I think that stuff's allowed. Okay. So what was the next one you did? Um, then we done the spelling test, which is where there's 20 sentences, and there's, um, there's, not a, there's, there's a space, and there's not a word in it. And then um, what will happen is the teacher will say that word and then you have to write it down. Okay. Um, and then we just went out to lunch <coughs> early, we had lunch and then we carried on doing normal lessons okay. in the afternoon. Cool, cool, cool. So you still got you doing lessons? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? Um, tired yeah. because all morning you do testing and then all afternoon you just do normal school work. Yeah, what do you think you should be doing in the afternoons if, it, if you run the school? If I run the school, we would do some school work, but look like maths. It's such a bookworm. No, I was no. not expecting to say, oh, we do some school work. No, like, no we have like day or art work and stuff. And then, like, it's not really school work, though, is it? Sorry, but we have art as a lesson. Yeah, it's not really school work though, is it? It's like <laughs> PE. PE ain't really school yeah. work, is it? Back to SATs. Yeah. As that's predominantly what this video is about. Yeah. Today is your second day of SATs? Yeah, second day. So, four days. what happened this um, morning? I've done a reading test. It Hold on, no, no, let, let's backtrack. What happened oh, this morning? The same exact thing. We went to breakfast. No, no, it, no, no, it went exactly the same thing. Was it, Jessica? Did you get up on time this morning? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> because yesterday I normally wake up at, well, not yesterday, but normally I wake up at 6 and start getting ready. Yeah. But I accidentally put my wrong alarm on for 5. Right. So I was really tired, so then I just turned it off and I just fell asleep again. Oh dear. <laughs> I still got to breakfast club in time now. Oh, that's alright then. To okay. So you got in, <coughs> fast around. Yeah. What time did your exam start? They started at 9.24 and so I know because, 9.24. The no, because the teacher writes it on the board. Right, okay. So we started at 9.24 and ended at um, 10.24. And what were the exams today? Just one exam. Oh, okay. What was it, a longer done, one? Um, a reading test. It was an hour long. Oh, Jesus. The amount of reading you do, if you fail that reading test, you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. Go on. Um, so what was the reading test? So you get three, um, like you get a big booklet which is, has your like questions in it, and then you have a thin booklet um, which has like the text. So normally it will be three texts. <coughs> texts. Wow! <laughs> and it was a reading test. Woo. Boy. To the pay for that no, extra I just, tuition. I just, I can't say it properly. Yeah, okay, go on. Um, 
So we had three texts. I'm not going to say the names of them because I'll probably get in trouble. Yeah, you will. A big trouble. By me, because <laughs> I'll probably get in trouble by the uh, school. So go on. Yeah. Yeah, so that was our test. And then when we finish it again, we'll check over it. Yeah. And then we done some drawing for a bit whilst the kids that get extra time yeah. get like do their extra time in their work. Yeah. And then, so we just drew. <laughs> drew. Wow. We drew pictures. Wow. Your grammar test was yesterday, yeah? Cool. Just checking. No, I said drew. Drawn. <laughs> I drew. <laughs> because you made a funny face at Drawing. Me. Um, so tomorrow I have an arithmetic test. Yeah. Um, it's a 45 minute test. Um, so today when we got back from break time, we done um, a maths lesson yep. and what we've done was um, we put our hands up and then Mr. Bar Barber, which is my teacher, yep. asked us um, what do you struggle with with like, arithmetic? So then if we have anything we struggle with, we put our hand up and he'll go over it with us just yep. to make sure we, um, that we can do it for the SATS test tomorrow. Cool. How are you feeling about Good. the arithmetic? Because I have gone a long way with my maths. How have you done that? Um, How have you gotten better? I have revised with my revision books. I have um, paid extra extra attention into, um, into my um, like maths classes and mm -hmm. made sure that if I didn't understand it, I would put my hand up and tell the teacher that I needed an extra help with it. Cool. Um, sometimes I if I got stuck on like division and stuff, even if it wasn't my revision, I would get out my notepad yeah. and then um, write some like questions down and then try and do them. Yeah? Yeah. And boosters? Um, we have finished boosters now, we're not allowed to do boosters during no, the SATs. No, I know, I know, but I mean, in the lead up to your SATs, you were doing boosters yeah. quite regularly. I had um, a maths booster every Monday and Wednesday with one of our TAs. And what, what, what is a booster just for the um, A booster of is a little thing where you, um, a certain TA or a teacher will take you out of the classroom for an hour, um, for, for 30 minutes to an hour. Yep. And they will just go over um, like maths or English. Um, key areas that you need yeah, to get help with which, and that will help you to get better at that so that's what boosters do so have you found doing those three things helped? Yeah. You, feel, you feel confident going into tomorrow? yes I know it's very so then Friday, what's happening Friday? Friday, so in our school, I don't know if other schools do it probably not, but our school has enforced um, a thing called credits Mm -hmm. And basically, if you show good working and stuff, yep. your teacher will give you credits. And if you finish that chart by the end of the Saturday week, by Friday, we have teachers and they've got activities. <coughs> Excuse me. They have activities going on for us to do, like, pretty much all day. Yep. Um, because of our hard work in SATS and also because of our hard work during the school year. Yep. Um, to um, get our credits, which I have finished, and I had three extra. When you finished, I finished way early on that, didn't you? Yeah. I guess. Looking back on this, yeah. You're halfway through the week. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, what advice would you have given yourself last um, week? The advice I would have given myself last week and then some advice I gave to my friend today because she was panicking was to, even though you have to keep track of the time to make sure you do get it done in time, try not to be thinking about the time because the more you think about the time, the more stressed out and the more panicked you get mm -hmm. and that can, that won't help with it. So try and, like, just try and do it, um, like, take care of your test obviously do it quickly so you can get it done but try to not panic about the time try not to always be looking at the time because that will that will make you less focused okay. on what you're going to do cool is that it um, anything else also um
try not to panic as much because that can also lose time for your SATs test and you don't need to panic because you um they are they aren't as hard as you think they are as you as if you just put your mind to it. Cool. We'll uh, we'll touch base again at the end of the week. Yeah. And see how uh, how you feel about it then. Yeah. yeah? Cool. I'm nice a pineapple. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to just quickly explain uh, the do? Okay. Because this started beginning of the week. This is like yes. a sat special. Yeah. This is my sat special pesto, and this will actually help you if you have quite a long fringe. So I'll take it down. I'll probably look like a do first. Wow. <laughs> because it. Wow. Like, but my fringe is quite long and it goes all the way across my eyes. So I've just tied it up like a little pineapple or a little unicorn <coughs> like this um, to keep it out of my eyes so I can be more focused. Okay, I, I, yeah, I just wanted an explanation. I didn't want a flaming YouTube hair video. <laughs> this is how you do the pineapple sats haircut. I just tie it up so then it keeps it out of my face whilst I'm trying to do my test. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Wow, that's even more fabulous than it was before. <laughs> yeah, I haven't looked at it. <laughs>